Kitty has a vacation injury. We picked Portugal. People are asking, like, why'd you pick Portugal? You actually too just long. used way too much about the ocean. No, I didn't. Now that we did Portugal, we can go, like... We can conquer the world. We can conquer the world. Um, so it's a huge object, and tons of planes are grounded, banks, everything. Hashtag stuck in Portugal. We're actually not going home. Now we're going to do, like, three days in Zurich. everybody yes. welcome to today's vlog kate and i are in lisbon portugal our very last day in lisbon the last day includes flying home by the way we have seven minutes until we need to leave she's still in a bathrobe with wet hair okay you have no time to, you have no time for this <laughs> i just made it though you no no to, no but you have wait, no time to, to, which you have no time to stand here and do this we have to leave i have to fly home today oh, because i work that's tomorrow. really good oh it smells delightful what kind of tea peppermint and lemon dude that's what i'm saying like if, if I hadn't done that, like, if I hadn't spent that mm, time... That's good. Katie wants me to tell you what my favorite part of the trip was. 100% it was hanging out with Katie. Doing everything with Kate. We, by the way, are very good at traveling together because we have the same interest for the most part. Although she was dying to go to the zoo. Not that I don't <laughs> want to go to the zoo or the aquarium, but I was like... I don't well, want you to hate on my zoo thing. I'm not hating on your zoo thing. What was your favorite part of the trip, Katie? Um, I liked the whole trip, and obviously I liked hanging out with mom was like the main thing. Can you hear her? I hope you can hear her. Yeah, you can. I'm talking really loud. Oh, okay. Um, hanging out with mom was the main thing. Well, you don't need to say that just because I said it. It's okay. No, no, because I said that's what made me happy like the past 50 million days in a row. But my like actual favorite like place that we went was, my favorite day was definitely our um beach day yeah. everything about that day was just so sly like there wasn't a single part of that day that was like we should have been doing this right and we woke be up on time there. had really good breakfast drove down to the beach and then the just private relaxed. wine tour the private wine tour yes you guys if you haven't seen that vlog i'm gonna um link all of our portugal vlog vlogs at the end of this vlog so you can see them all we picked portugal people are asking like why'd you pick portugal wait i was actually wondering that too were you yeah because i know that we've talked about going for a while but i don't remember what sparked it okay so a few things came together let me move this because there's a little bit of a glare a few things came together to make portugal a thing are you okay you're getting dressed over there so i'll go this way how about that that's much better so um okay you know i'm a flight attendant right so I was um, flying, gosh, maybe like three months in or something. And I've always been very curious about Z flying, which is zonal employee discount, which is like how you can fly as a flight attendant on other airlines. So I was very interested in that. And I would ask all the flight attendants, I was brand new, I was ask all the flight attendants, hey, so have you traveled Z? Like, what do you, where have you been? What do you, where do you go? Give me some tips. And I was talking to this one flight attendant, Chris, who I became friends with. And Chris was like, oh yeah, we go to Portugal. I'm like, oh, Portugal, wow. So that started my interest in Portugal. And then um, I just, through little bits and pieces of things, kept hearing about Portugal wine and Portugal olives and Portugal this and Portugal that. And Wait, did we save our Portugal olives? I don't think we did. No. So anyway, I was like looking for places and I'm like, well, I've already been to Paris and the Olympics is coming up. So it's going to be kind of nutty. I want to wait till the right. Olympics. Yeah, it goes away to go back to Paris. So I love France. I love, love, love France. We've already been to Spain. Only I'm Barcelona. I do. I do. Shut up, Kate. <laughs> That's so funny. So anyway, so I was just looking around and, and I'll give you the one last thing is I wanted for our very first um, flight internationally on these benefits, I wanted to, I didn't. It didn't need to be like long and um, involved. So Portugal, oh, Lisbon, sorry. Really like the closest European city to the United States. So it's sort of an, an easy flight. Last do. night we were saying we are we are one with the Portuguese people. Like we are one no, with Portugal. We're not one with the Portuguese people. We're, we're one, one with Portugal. Portugal in general. Like, I mean, we are one well, with the people Portuguese were great. Because they like are totally awesome. Oh I wouldn't say we're one with them. I did. They're just all chill vibes. You know, yeah, and but very I think, helpful. I think we're family. one with the streets of Portugal just because um, they are chill. Vibe. You gonna wear shorts? You gonna be cold? Yeah, but they're gonna give me a blanket on the plane, and I have a sweatshirt. Okay, perfect. Yeah, the people here are very chill vibes. Like, there's there's not a lot of. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of drama. Doesn't seem like there's like a lot of. Except for the honking. There's a couple of beeps, but that's a city. 
You know what I mean? No, they were honking not in the city too. <laughs> they were honking not in the city. Oh, all right. No, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Using some of the lotion. No, you can't. You can't. That's so much of the lotion. Holy cow. All right, you guys, this has gone on too long. You used way too much of that lotion. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, because now how am I supposed to lotion myself? There's a ton of lotion. There's, like, there. not that much left. <laughs> it's time to go home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've had we, too much of we, this woman. I love her so much. We were literally just saying, I said, Katie, what if this morning I said to you, okay, packing your bags, we're actually not going home. Now we're going to do, like, three days in Zurich or something like that. I'd be like, yeah, yeah let's do it. Or, so we realized we, we, next time we actually could do that. Or we could do. Um, Is our eight minutes gone? Hold on. No. Yeah, it's nine oh one, Katie. We are officially one minute late. We've got to go. Well, hey, listen. Okay. This went swimmingly. Absolutely. Like this went exactly the way we thought it was going to go. But better. Yes, but better actually. And we're not ending this vlog right now, obviously, because we have a lot to do today. But um, I do want to say, comment down below where you guys think we should go next, because we did talk about this last night, where we should go next. And should it be just Katie and Jill, or should we take the whole family? Bye. Katie has a vacation injury. She got a blister. What day? Was that this, the day we went to the beach? No, Queen. This was day one. Oh, seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Out and about day one. Yeah, that was. All that walking. Yes. We walked through the Alfama district. We went to the square, which I don't remember what it was called, but we literally just discovered all day long. That was so cool. And the best part, okay. Besides being with Katie, the best part about this vacation, and I think what we learned is we came here with very little plan. Like we didn't really have much of a plan when we were going to get like what to do when we got here. But each time we did something, we engaged with someone from Portugal, whether it would be a server or a bellman or the, the tour guide, like whatever. And we would say, okay, well, you know, we've, we've done this and this. What do you think we should do next? So like, oh, you definitely should go here or there. So literally it was like a little scavenger hunt and they sort of sent us all around, in and around the Lisbon region. So we went an hour south and then like an hour and 20 minutes west and then in Lisbon. So we, I feel like we did a pretty good job as much as we could do for three days. Bye room. The server's here. So, See you later. Um, oh wait, I should probably want to from there. If you want to. The long and winding road. Airport and it seems busy, but like I feel like you know it's Friday, it should be busy. So we come up to Delta to check in to our flight, and the guy at the front says, Have you checked the news yet? And I was like, No. Mind you, it's 10 o'clock here and it's 5 o'clock a.m. New York time, like so at home. And he said, Well, there's a huge power outage, not power outage, there's a huge Microsoft. I'm like getting a weird amount of texts back from people at home right now. Which Why is are they awake? Five fifty one. Like who's texting you? Who's Dan? Brennan. Why are they? Brennan's awake. Does Brennan know about the outage? You tell him. No. Okay. Well, he's not flying smart. Why is he still awake? I don't know. Anyway, um, this is a huge outage, and tons of planes are grounded, banks, everything. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to make it out of here. Um, they literally said they have no idea. Um, I need to get back because I have work tomorrow, but if all planes are grounded, then I guess I don't have work tomorrow. So we've been in this line now for a good half hour, and we've moved maybe that much, so um, stay tuned to find out what's going to happen. Hashtag stuck in Portugal. I said to Katie, like, should I book another hotel? We should like, just go really shopping fast. and get a lot of candy and try it all. Oh my gosh. First we got to check in though. First we got to check in. Um, but I might book another hotel just because I don't want to sleep at the airport if it doesn't get fixed today. Plus the fact we're flying standby. So if we're flying standby and all these other flights are canceled and they try to put a bunch of people on another flight, we're going to be the last priority. So hang tight, everybody. Absolutely. The reality that everyone was joking, the reality this place is going to Okay, okay.
So we went to a winery. Right. Mm. And it was wonderful. <laughs> you probably know Where, it. Where about have you been there? Um, we went to, oh, uh, I don't know how to say it. We went there. Wait, Jose de Maria. No, it Maria wasn't. It was, Maria. it was. It's south of Lisbon. Oh, it's a Oh, is that right? I was born in London, but my father's from the countryside. So a lot of uh, wine is produced there. Uh. That's wine from there. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, after you cleared the security, you have a beautiful area. We went to duty-free. We got some candy. We got some wine for Nana. We should have gotten water. This is our gate 47. We're going to go see if we can check in. Actually, this way, Kate. And see if we have a seat. It's a little crowded with what's going on. Everything's delayed. All right, you guys, we have really good news. Katie and I just got our boarding passes for the flight, so we're gonna get on. I think there was one person behind us, so we filled it up. We both have middle seats, though. So she's, she's in front of me, and I'm in the back behind here. But at least we're on this flight. Yay, that's good. So, all right, so we're just um, camping out here until the flight boards. It's, an, uh, it's 75 minutes late, so they are um, gonna board here. In, I think they said like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but we're zone seven, so it's gonna be a while before we get on. Ready? Oh gosh, I think there's the most people in zone seven. You ready? I don't even know what number my seat is. I know, you are 44, no, 45D and I'm 44D, so you're right behind me. So I can turn around and send you notes. I feel like we've been here forever. Not just the airport, I mean like this Portugal. Like <laughs> Well, it's good that we got here when we did. We have been here since, what, nine, uh, just before 10. So it's what time now? 11, 12, 1, 2, 15, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Oh, five hours? You've been here for five hours? Holy cramole. All right, let's do it. I think we're going to be the last people on. I hope they don't have to check our bag. All right, here we go. Going down the jet bridge. <laughs> Thank you. Carrying Katie's passport. Onward and upward. Ciao. Yeah, we checked our bags because the flight's full and there wasn't going to be any space. And we had to clear customs anyway, so we had to go get them regardless. You know what I mean? Like a weary traveler. Actually, I don't really feel like a weary traveler. I was just saying to Katie, I'm not really that tired. In now we're gonna just feel like in Portugal. It's so in Portugal it is 12:26 p.m. like a.m. like at night, and here it's 7:26. So, but I'm not feeling like it's 12. I feel much more like it's seven, which is good. Yeah. However, now we're in Boston. We made it here. We had to go through um, customs and then recheck our bags and all that yeah, stuff well. and now we're sitting we just had some food and we're we missed not, not that we missed right. the southwest flight we didn't miss it but it was full so we couldn't get on it right. so the next flight we're taking southwest back to baltimore so the next flight was supposed to be it was scheduled for 9 25 now it's not leaving until 10 11 so it doesn't get in until 11 something yeah. something something and i have to work tomorrow so i'm um thinking that i want to rest a little bit but i'm editing so look I have my computer, so I'm going to edit a bit. So we have three hours until the flight takes off. So we're just going to sort of hang out. And um, Kate's talking to her friend from college. That's Lindsay. Hi. There's Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay's having her dinner. <laughs> so we'll just hang out here for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is our last plane ride okay. of our trip. We're home. we're home, you guys. We're home. Hey, Katie. Wow. That was we were doing some math earlier. Yeah. So it is 12 o'clock. Midnight right here it's in 5 a.m. in Portugal. Portugal. And we were at the airport at, at 9. nine. We started tra oh, no, we no, left we started the airport. Yeah, we, started, at we left for the airport at nine. So that means that we have been traveling for a total of 20 hours. 20 hours today. 
And we could have gotten home on the earlier Southwest flight. We didn't we, realize it. Well, or... we, well, we did realize it, and then we thought we it was full because it, it was. Yes. And then right. we went to get some food, came back, and the woman at the front desk was like, "Oh, it's both." I called you guys. Like I paid you. Like not everybody showed up. You could have made the flight, which is so because we waited for like three more hours after that. <laughs> in Boston. Which is, which is a, <laughs> But our luggage made it. Yeah, like our, our luggage came here and we Did didn't. It? Yeah, so we gotta go get it. Because we checked it thinking we were gonna be out, able to get on that flight. Anyway, so I would say it was a humongous success. Agreed. We were sent out to do the test to see if it was gonna work. And 100%, not a, it, I think it worked with flying colors. I was just saying to Kate, oh, now that we did Portugal, we can go, like... We can conquer the world. We can conquer the world. That's it. She wants to go to Nepal. I think that might be a bit I of a time. I want to go to Nepal. <laughs> so I want to go to Nepal so that Nepal, Australia, and, like, all of the... I don't know what they're called. The really peaceful countries up there. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, like... Like, the, Norway. Yeah, they're the called the... Wait, they're called the... Shoot. The Netherlands, yeah, I guess, right? Sweden. Yes, and we want to go to Ireland and Scotland. Oh yeah. Yeah, we want to. Go, there's a lot of places we want to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Got you a present. We did. Oh, hi, baby. Oh. <laughs> we want you to come with us next time. We're traveling for 20 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Today, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, she oh, did. Yeah. Well, Katie picked it out. All right, it's time to go to sleep, you guys. I might have to work early in the morning, and I'm exhausted. I don't even know, like, we're all messed up in terms of time. So thank you so much for watching. What made me happy today was the whole trip, but specifically what made me happy was getting on the plane and actually being able to make it back because it was touch and go there for a bit. Um, but great, great, amazing trip. Let's do it again, Kate. Yes. <laughs> what made you happy today? Um, being... Well, seeing my father. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, seeing daddy. Tom enjoys in the trap. Oh, there's evidence. Um, and having a safe arrival with my mother, mm -hmm. whom I love so dearly. Home sweet home. I love you too. Thanks for traveling with me. Love you. Thank more. you for taking me. Mm -hmm. Mikey, what made you happy today? You guys getting back safe. Aw, thank you. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Comment below, made you guys happy today. And hey, I'm going to put the um, playlist right here for all of our Portugal travels, all the days we were in Portugal, and follow along and see what we did. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.